while we're here, it took us six years as we've extendedly discussed. <clears throat> uh, let me just first start by saying, Meg, you look beautiful. Uh, the bride and groom have asked me to thank you all for coming tonight. As you can see, it's a very small, intimate group, and that was very deliberate on their end because the people that are here today are the people who have shaped their lives and effectively got them here, so thank you. So most people know we met on a blind date <laughs> that you're two hours late for, <laughs> that you didn't even know you were supposed to be at. Me not knowing that at the time, I didn't know what to make of you. But later that night, you held my hand and I never felt a comfort the way I did. I felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. Life has become brighter with you in it. You came into my life and completely changed it. You were my favorite man in the world, my best friend, love of my life, and now my husband. Meg and I have dated, like I said, for six years, and we've built such a beautiful beginning of our family and laid strong roots for love in one another. Very beautiful. But you were willing to give me your most precious gift that's so big in you, which is your heart. Something that you gave wholeheartedly from the first blind date that I never showed up to. <laughs> Two hours late. And you so graciously accepted me. I love you, Meg, and I'm so thankful for you to be my wife. By the power of the state of Utah, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nate, you may kiss your bride.